pace, and we see NC State starting out in a man-to-man -man defense. South Carolina will look to go into Cardoso as much as possible. Pow Pow floats it in. A good sign for South Carolina. A bit fatigued. Especially if you've had some struggles with your three-point shot. Well, she comes up with a steal here as well. It's good to get a look at the rim. Pow Pow to the corner. Johnson connects. James slinks into the paint, couldn't hook it in over Cardoso. Now Baldwin able to flip it in around Bree Hall. Nice finish there. An offensive rebounding percentage, third in rebounding margin. See South Carolina blitz the on-ball screen. Mimi Collins from the mid-range. It was something that NC State had wondered would Texas do against them in the Elite Eight. They did not. Here is James. She got it. Piping hot. Incredible with her efficiency here. Draws two, but then, oh, what a dribble back to the right side. 57% from three. She drew two, but then the defense backed up and she was able to get her shot off. Cardoso, wow. Through two defenders, able to bank it home. She's got really good pace, making her moves on the post. Here's Baldwin, Cardoso on her back. River Baldwin gets blocked by Cardoso. A lottery pick, and probably a really early one in the WNBA draft on April 15th here on ESPN. As Hall misses long, and the rebound flag down by Hayes, nearly threw it away. Here's James being ridden by Pow Pow, step back three again. Isaiah James is feeling it. State's backcourt would have to be elite. How have they been so far? Isaiah James. 14 rebounds, four blocks in less than 30 minutes in South Carolina's Elite Eight win. Cardoso, nice footwork in the finish. Confident, demands the basketball, and then when she gets it, tries to score. Wow, Rivers the breakdown in the lay. Here's Fagan lining it up, short. Watkins so dangerous on the offensive glass. Ashlyn Watkins is worth the price of admission just to watch her rebound. And NC State comes away with it. Here's Rivers being hawked by Full Wiley, and Rivers gets denied. Watkins there, and Fagan as well. But they play with more energy, pace, excitement, and run and scramble better than any other group she's had. They're the number one scoring defense in the nation. Fagan twisting and finishing. Well, and Holly Brooks setting herself up. Can't hit the three. Rebound hits the floor. Brooks gets it back and flips it in. A confident. James goes back door, lays it in on a nice delivery from the freshman Brooke. Just beautifully executed play. Mansonia Rivers is really amped up to play against her former team. Bull Wiley connects on a three. Cardoso the rebound for Wiley. This is a small lineup for NC State. Cardoso trying to go to work. Cardoso able to finish, finding the angle. Six. But Wiley really up pressuring Zoe Brooks. Her jumper is good. Here, Baldwin with it at three. Baldwin gets sandwiched, able to grab it back, can't flip it in, and hits the rebound. Yeah, that just was not a smooth offensive possession for NC State. Cardoso, great position in the finish. Now one of six from the floor. Hall working behind Cardoso, feeds her again, and more easy cash for Camilla Cardoso. And how about that time? It wasn't Collins looking for help. Baldwin trying to work Cardoso. Baldwin, a tough finish from the right block. I like the persistence of River Baldwin because she's gotten blocked a couple of times inside, but she needs to continue to be attacking. Nice delivery, Johnson. And here's another one, just perfect. This is the best first half I've seen Camila Cardoso play this season. She looks determined. Brooks, again able to flip it in. How about the poise the freshman has shown in the mid-range thus far? She had five charges in the first half and got injured or else she would have had more. Rivers, nice look, and Baldwin the easy finish. That was quite a screen by River Baldwin though. And now Raven Johnson off the long rebound. Cardoso open underneath. 
16 points in this first half. James looking to shake Johnson. James lost the handle, needs help, goes back to all Brooks denied by Watkins. Johnson, the freshman, directing traffic with Cardoso. Here's Johnson, she got it. We have seen Tessa Johnson finish. Good box out there from Collins, and then nearly throws it away. Brooks able to pedal it away from traffic. Brooks finds Collins, her three is good. Tied at 30. Got an eight second difference game in shot clock. Here's Fagan. Fagan twists inside and finishes with the left hand. In this second half, Ashlyn Watkins, rather than Chloe Kitts, gets the start out of halftime as Raven Johnson very calmly. Going to watch her closely and how she's moving up and down the floor. How pow rattles in a three and a strong start to the third for South Carolina. Tahina Pow Pow this season shot the third best. Getting it down for Cardoso. Double comes. Watkins cuts. Can't finish. Now she can on the putback. And South Carolina has its largest lead of the night. Even her teammates knew how important this game was to her. She is the vocal leader of her team as Johnson brings in a three. Raven Johnson, two for three from deep as James floats it home. Oh, that was a beautiful job. She just split the blitz right through the screen to get the good look inside. Pow, pow, around the Watkins screen. Feeds her on the roll. Easy money. Pow, pow, and Watkins. Ashlyn Watkins, screen, roll, deliver. That's just easy. You see the bench points that are plus nine tonight. No player averages more than 28 minutes per game for the undefeated Gamecocks. For Wiley Short, Cardoso cleans it up. Hayes, too long on a three, and Watkins, yet another rebound, her 12th. Johnson lobbing it up, Cardoso able to finish. Timeout, NC State. On the floor in this third, two turnovers for the game. They have just three assists to their nine turnovers. Johnson on a three. Another set that South Carolina worked on against the zone. A court attempt from Isaiah James and her teammates really weren't even down the floor yet as Tessa Johnson can't finish and it's out of bounds off of Brooks. Baldwin has it knocked away, forcing the pass inside. For Wiley blurring to the bucket. Yeah, smart. Raven Johnson pulls it out, gets them to run a set. For Wiley in the corner, no, Cardoso, yes. And that's the hard part for NC State in the zone. Here's Pow Pow, a deep three is good. <laughs> NC State by 20 in the frame. Nice look there from James, and what a rejection from Swatkins. Five seconds left. In this third, Hall's three. You bet! What you got cooking. Steps out, faces up. Three more. As South Carolina goes zone here against NC State. And what's intriguing about this is coming into this game as Sanaya Rivers able to drain from deep against the zone. South Carolina had... With an apparent leg injury, came out with a different sleeve on her leg in the third and was still her dominant self. Johnson, sure. So they can do the mid-range too. <laughs> when you get this late and you play that third week of the tournament and not getting exhausted that way, which the program obviously has become very accustomed to as Pow Pow flips it in. South Carolina now back in their man-to-man. -man. They're just so... Her 19th of the night. Watkins elevates and hits. What can she do? More tremendous production off the bench. Hayes' three is good. A much needed one 
for NC State. With uh, how about Dawn Staley? Up 22. She didn't like what she saw on the defensive end for her team, so she called a timeout. Andrea Carter, as we see River Baldwin score. Andrea Carter pointed that out. I think it was the first or second round game. Maddie Cox getting some minutes. Now for NC State. As Johnson nails the three. Just turned. What? That was a beautiful pass by Ashlyn Watkins. And when you drive. Cedar hit such big threes throughout this season, throughout this tournament. Last year was flagrantly sagged off of in the perimeter. And now an easy lay as well. Beautiful score on the offensive end by the guard. Sign, you need to know that your teammate is going to be in the corner. And yeah, there it is. There's the big girl. Quick hands, quick feet. She's the reason they got the lay. That is the medical term. Well, I was going to say, you both are using fussing now to describe <laughs> what's happening with that hamstring. It must be a couple of decades of working together. <laughs> I know it makes you happy when we don't have to replay calls over and over no, again. I, it, make, it, I, it delights me, Ryan Ruto. <laughs> James can hit the three. Rebound Cox. Here comes Brooks. Teardrop short. The follow too strong. Baldwin able to clean it up. Some pressure applied by NC State now. As South Carolina able to break it. Fagan waits and lays it home. Lead is 20 for South Carolina. Coming on two minutes remaining in this fourth. Isaiah James nails the three. James a junior. Here's Paul Wiley turning the corner and cuffing it in beautifully. And an NC State team that brings back its backcourt as long as James doesn't go to the draft with Sanaya Rivers. And as that three won't go. Offensive rebound, Brooks. He puts it in. And that will do it. Undefeated South Carolina will play for the national championship on Sunday.